Hey everybody, back, another box opening video. I think this is March. I don't remember if we did a March one. I think it's March. But uh, yeah, we got five boxes. Hopefully this one will go pretty quick. I didn't really pick up too much over the last um, the last month or so. Um, I think the next one's gonna be rather big because I've been buying up a lot of parts and harder to collect items. So um, I don't know, I think it's gonna be Quite a lot. So I've got Abe here with me yeah. today. We're gonna pop into these five boxes, and, uh, and mainly I wanted to get the, the living room cleaned up at this point and get some of these parts into the warehouse because at least one or two of these are gonna go straight into cabs. So without further ado, we'll get right into it. We're just uh, coming up off the cusp of our three back to back shows. Abe here just got back from Vegas and uh, been basically living out of town for, for the last month. Just about yeah, Phoenix and Vegas and Vegas again. And we're and gonna be Vegas. back there in yeah. in about three weeks. So yeah, a lot of this stuff is gonna end up going to level up. Um, at least a, a little bit of the parts in here. We'll go to level up, and uh, so you'll probably see on cabs. So. If you'd like, you can just start pulling stuff out and try and make this one a little bit quicker. This should just be one or two items. And what is unfortunately needs to be a large box. That is a bunch of cardstock. I think that's Postman all. And uh, printer rolls. Yeah, printer rolls and cardstock for. Let's flip it over. Oh, that, yeah, those, are, yeah, those are all card connect. So that's a lot of card connect stock. We've got the card connect right here. Um, I've got the one junk cab that we have at the warehouse. I think, I think that'll have been in a container video by the time I published this. I think it was. Or no, it's in the, well, the actual look at that isn't, but at any rate, there's been a fair, fair, fair bit of that listed lately. And so. this is Star Connect? That is a BNA one. Right. I think oh, that's ah, a okay. Sword Art Online. Nice. Yeah, Sword Art Online BNA one because the one at the office, it didn't have a hard drive. And rather than rebuild one, I was like, I'll just swap it out and I'll do something with that other DNA one later. Great. So that'll get that cab up. And depending, maybe we'll, since we're getting that one set up and network and stuff, we'll just, uh, we'll pull that cab out of the office for a level up. That is definitely gonna go. And we're definitely going to run it, and we're very excited about that because it'll be our first show bringing that out, as well as um, a chance for people to check out the online features and not just the, the tutorial for it. You just attach this. Okay. Well, you want to help me with this poster here, real quick? Sure. Let's see. So this is. I forgot which Reflect Beat poster this is, but it's a. One of the older ones. Colette, I think. I think it's just reflecting. Or it's oh yeah, no, it's uh it's just oh no, it's Colette, it's a merchandise one. So let's see if we can get the rest of the way with that. Ah yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can see on the bottom there it has a it has a spot for you to write a date. Uh this was this would be for a a campaign oh. item here. So this would have been given out with uh, the uh, promotion kit for it, and you would have until that time to, I'm not sure how this one was earned or whatnot, but you would get enough earning it at the time. I think I'm gonna, f this one's probably gonna go with the reflect beat in the garage. I'm gonna set that aside for now. And let me pass you this. Nothing else in there, is there? No, that was a just that. tiny box. Pass you that and I'll start with this thing here. So that's going straight up into the game center, and that should just be one item. If you want to cut that all the way out, you're welcome to, but I'm not going to remove the cardboard on it. Okay. Because that's one I'll break down from trash tonight. I don't know if, I don't remember if recycling is here this week or not, but I'm going to fill it up anyway. Okay. 
You look like a like a tuna or something. Yep, it is a tuna and star format. It's the second to last one that I'm missing, I guess besides the premium. So that'll go up in the loft. I have the rest of the set except for the one for the gold caps. This sucker is not what I thought it was. Oh, this might be the standee. Is there another big flat box? Oh, I wonder if the... Okay, maybe it's in there. But No, this is a, this is a standee, I think. Nothing else in there, yeah. Okay. Interesting enough. saving this for last. This is something that I didn't expect to be as big as it is. We knew it was going to be big. Oh, uh, no, I didn't actually. Oh. I guess I should have, but I think it w when you see one in, re in, uh, in its natural habitat, maybe you don't think about it. And I just didn't think about it when I saw the picture. I had a similar conversation with someone about San Voltex Valkyrie cubs. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, no, when we. I've seen them in the arcades. I've seen them at round one. I've seen them in Japan, in pictures and whatnot. But when we got our first one of those in the warehouse, just something about it being in hand and moving it around, those things are pretty chonky. So, yeah, that's going in the game center, too. Another very un. Well, pretty uncommon standee. Just the same as the tapestry and the, the poster, just in standee form. I think our height is about right there. Uh, except this one has a slot here to put, like an advert or something. So that might finally about round out the Concoli section. This one looks to be almost new. Actually, it is new, it looks like. Uh, most of them you see here nowadays out in arcades are super sun faded. So I think that's it for that box. And then probably all the little stuff is in here along with one large item. Look, I can see it already is in the bottom. First up, another, this is a, an ES4. Uh, I, I have like three or four in my inventory, I think, but I don't know where they are. And I've been, I need to stock up on these anyway. The, love, the Sword Art Online terminal in the warehouse the PCB didn't work, so I brought it home to fix. I just bought another. I'm currently just watching any time they get relisted because they're not very expensive. I'm hoping that down the line we can use these to repair Gun Bullet X because it's the only two games that use this. I have to um, I have to stock up on these while I can. Otherwise, you'll never really be able to fix those with with legit hardware. Anymore. And they're all those are you know as small as they are, they're all in one boards. So they have, um, what's it called, uh, like integrated graphics and all that stuff. It's not really feasible to, uh, this looks like a big old to repair components. components. Yeah, so this is, what is this? Oh, yeah, I guess. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's open this all the way. That's pretty cool. I actually inadvertently get ended up kind of competing with a friend of mine on that, but it's a good, um, it was a good lot of IC cards and there was a particular reason that I insisted on, you know, getting this. And I'll, I'll probably be distributing a fair amount of what's in there to other people because it's only the Shining Force cross cards that I super care about in it. This is just another big bundle of I believe Card Connect stock. Um, yeah, Card Connect, and then these, these are like the, I've shown them in a previous video, they're like these foil cards. I think they're used for like WCCF or something like that. We kind of don't have a use for it, but. Unfortunately, a lot of this card stock's been coming up and the ink is the hard part to replace because that, that has the, the security in it 
um, that'll prevent you from using it if it's in the wrong printer or whatnot. So it's cool we have the cardstock, but at some point I need to find out a, a solution for ink. You know, even if it means, hopefully maybe we can get like one of the models of the printer and disable that security or something, and then we can use that printer to print with our stock or something, I don't know. But that's that, that's gonna stay here, so I'll leave that there. While he's opening that up, I'm gonna pull out a couple more. I don't know how many of these are in the, in this lot particularly, but there's three right here. These are more of the Battle Gear 4 net entry keys. So there's three here. I'm, they're expensive, around 40 bucks a pop, but I've been buying them up because sans this one seller that keeps listing them, they are non-existent. And someday, you know, people want to actually be able to play the game and, and like really play it, we're gonna need more of those. That's a, a future investment. So I'm gonna see if we can't go through this whole pile of cards. There's a couple bundles here of blue Nessicas. Um, as of this recording, I believe they are going to stop producing these. So it's fortunate that we're, you know, we got some of these here. Um, and I'd actually just about sold out all my stock because someone asked for it. And I was like, okay, yeah, you know, I'll, I'll lift my limitations on sales right now because we're a little tight on money and help them out and then find out immediately after selling them that we can't get any more so which i i haven't actually told you that yet but it's not 100 percent confirmed yet but the blue nessicas we only need more and uh groove coaster does not work without the blue nessicas it's the only game left and i think that's why mm -hmm. they're discontinuing it but so in here let's go ahead and try and look at a couple of these um so these, oh, this is actually one of the other reasons I was so excited about it. These are all um, Cyber Diver cards, and that's another one of those games like um, Shining Force Cross I've mentioned before. There's like, I know three people in the world that have them. I'm sure there might be more, but like, if someone's going to care about Shining Force Cross, I should probably have cards. So there's a ton more cards there. And this lot was pretty cheap, too. I think it was, overall, it was like 300 400 And considering what those were, you know, have been selling for, what we've even paid for on the cheaper side, just, just those alone are good. We've got some Mahjong Fight Club, EMUs is there, which are cool. Um, here we've got some of the magnetic cards. Mahjong Fight Club 4. Um, there's an IC Sega card for MJ4. Derby Owners Club, a couple, couple little assortment ones, some more uh, Cyber Divers there, a couple different versions of Cyber Diver. Um, so yeah, some of these cards people said, hey, if, if you don't mind, I'll take them, and I'd, I had offered to if um, anybody wants them. So these are Tekken 6 cards, which eventually I want to get a Tekken 6 setup going that can, can actually use these. It would be cool. I don't remember, I don't think there's Tekken 5 ones in here, otherwise uh, that's something to be excited about. But yeah, there's Tekken 6 and Tekken 6 BR. And then, oh yeah, so Tekken Net. I, be, I think, oh no, these are Tekken 5 too, yeah, so, or Tekken 6. There's that one, there's more of those, there's that. Big, big stack. Some more Cyber Diver cards, these are actually pretty cool. And more Cyber Diver. So yeah, really cool little set there. I don't remember if there's another box in there like that, but I think I might have lost one of the options. So uh, yeah, go ahead and start pull us out something else. Oh, we got uh, theater gun control panel. Yep. So I picked up that because. I would like to mod one, like actually, like mod modify an original one for Switch for the extra two buttons. I know you can probably make something or rig something up, but you know, I didn't want to. Of course, I didn't want to drill holes in my original panel. So, of course. 
I thought I picked that up. Also, it's just a good spare part. That one's missing the joysticks, and it's sold for significantly less than what other, like, complete ones have been selling for, so it was a good opportunity for me to get something at a, at a better price regardless. Yeah, um, you got some, you got some uh, small items here, and you got a piece of furniture. Yeah. So here's the, the big thing that I thought was in the other box. This is a spare. Which is, oddly, oddly enough, the lightest thing in the box. Yeah. That is actually kind of surprising. So this is a spare table. Um, let's go ahead and unwrap this all the way if you'd like. We might as well look it over. Like, it's conveniently packed, but, you know. It's a table. Yeah, it's a table. <laughs> but I would, I mean, regardless, I'd like to look over the condition of it. And if we're going to, one of the tape, one of the cabs we can't got in has like a big gouge or something in the table. I don't know if anything else is wrong with it, but if there isn't, that would be nice to just replace that table and maybe have the, at the very least, be one step closer to a complete working, usable Cho Chavadai. Now, as, just, as I was telling Abe earlier, I'm not 100% sure if that was a good table or not. So I'm opening this all the way because these are some assorted Shining Force cross cards that I have not gotten before. And I want to share some of the art because they're pretty cool. And I think I bought more that are showing up on the next batch. I don't remember. But, um, yeah, I'm not sure what revision these would have come from compared to what we have already. But these were cards that are definitely not from the same set as what we've been picking up the several, like, the last year or two. And they're pretty cool. Hopefully the glare hasn't been ruining these the whole time. Okay. So these are right here. Check the box for any loose items. There's always loose items, so here's another. And this is a Battle Gear 3 key, which is even probably even more obscure. Yeah, that's probably the glare is hitting everything, I'm sorry. But um there's only one of these came up. I'm maybe eventually I'll get a Battle Gear 3 here, but you know, that's one of those things, whatever. I, doesn't really cost me too much. It doesn't lose me anything to have or anything, so. Okay, here's our two other small items. First up is a I believe this is an untested Vuix Amp PCB. So like these are good to have spares of and have them have like multiples that are just ready and working because I've mentioned before in some video I think that these um the audio connectors break on them especially if they leave a PCB inside or even like a header and it's it's bouncing around and, and the, the cable is connected it can break off this amp connector and uh it ends up having to be repaired so actually is this no this is i think this is something oh this has this is something else this is this is i think from a theater rhythm it's got the the uh that port there the um Optical audio. I think that's a that might be a Vuix one. Anyway, let's take a look at this table. How does it look? Because thus far, it doesn't really look like there's any breaks in it. Because I think like the one that we have in there was like a big gouge there, and it, I don't know if it was a little warped or something, yeah. but it was definitely damaged. Yeah. Um, it's scratched up. It's been used. Yeah. But that one's in better shape for sure. Yeah. So yeah. that's good. And we got and that's actually I think it's it's that and the mechanism are the two parts where if they go out on a show top of dime, it's done. Like, you're, you're done. There's nothing you can do. You can't get parts, whatever. It's just, it's done. Um, and a lot of places in Japan, at that point, you just, they're just getting thrown away. Places out here, same thing. Like, for Anthony from Tokyo Attack, his, he was always terrified of bringing that out, and he wouldn't do it unless that game could be right by the table and he could watch it himself. Because it's just going to be that prone to break. And once it's broken, you're done. Like, you've, your investment's gone. So... 
you know, I'm hoping to continue bringing them out because I want people to continue enjoying them. But, um, yeah, that's even if we don't have to, like, if it's just the table, it's just that if we were to, like, sand out burrs, we could probably just keep using that table and keep this as a spare. Or yeah. vice versa, put this one in and keep the others a spare. Right. But, um, but we've also had experiences where the, yeah. like, the motor mechanism and, like, the actual thing that's controlling the, uh, controlling the lock on the cab is bent and warped and yeah. like just, I think it just doesn't function. Well, it's either one of ours or one of someone else's. They need a new spring. It's one of ours. Yeah, it is on oh, one of ours. Yeah, I think it's I think others have had we either, a similar problem. We, uh, we have either offloaded that or it's one of ours that are still in the warehouse. Yeah, and then not too. So at any rate, finish. that is a difficulty and something that we always stress upon people who are interested in buying Cho Chabadai. Uh, we haven't exactly sold a bunch of them lately because we haven't gotten a bunch. There's now, I think, three or four lined up, though. So, you know, if anybody's buying those and there's not a list of people wanting, they got to know that they're they're jumping into that head first and they're not really going to get support. So here is two more keys that were loose. I'll be curious to see if they're used, but let's go ahead and you know, I can show you the actual key. I don't think we've ever taken one out. And uh, so there's the actual key and you've got a serial number there on the back and yeah like i mentioned in here is is an rfid tag and the key itself is just you know a place to put it which is pretty cool anyway i guess we're just down to that last big box the one that dj really wanted to know what it was and we got we got some wanna, we got some little guys here didn't want to spoil it for him or anything and then he left I guess you're all gonna have to wait because he has a couple. Oh yeah, there's we yeah got that some stuff more too. Flat beat stuff and we have some apparel. Oh, I forgot to mention. So for this, for this um, batch, clearance through customs was a pain in the butt, and um, I'm gonna repeat something that was told to me over the phone that the lady said she probably shouldn't tell me. And I probably shouldn't pass it on, but like I, I had speculated this anyway. It had trouble clearing customs. And among like the normal stuff that we hear, one of the things, and I, I think I told you about this, one of the things they asked for was the material composition of everything in the shipment. And if it's metal, what type of metal? I was like, I was like at that point, that's bullshit. And I called bullshit on it. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna schedule an appointment with um, one of the accounts team at FedEx. They've been trying to contact me anyway. This is just like a little like handkerchief or something. Um, and talk to them about maybe getting one, one agent to handle all of my shipments from now on. And see, these are, these are, you know, a lot of this is coming in as personal stuff, but it all ends up going through my business account for processing anyway, I think, because my address is listed as the business. I don't know how. To, anyway, I was going to talk to them and see if they can't, because... What they said, and this is what I, again, what I felt, is that it just depends on the mood of whoever's desk it lands on when it comes in. Some people are sticklers, and some people know what to do, and they're like, yeah, and take care of it, or, you know, they're not asking really dumb questions. Um, and this shipment just happened to land on some grumpy guy's desk, probably. Um, now, again, I'm going to prep, you know, or suffice this with saying that it's, you know, it's kind of hearsay and off the record, but um, it makes sense. That's what we think it is. And uh, so if I get one person that knows that, you know, I can build a good rapport with, especially, you know, if I can use the business angle to help negotiate that, especially since I want to get, um, these are little border plate insert things, especially since I do, I would like eventually to get better business rates for shipping shipping stuff out like stools and poster frames and it's like and that's explicitly what that agent had contacted me about was like to talk about um rates and stuff so hopefully you know we can kill a couple birds with one stone on that get down to one one um customs processor and the other part of it and this is you know i i had a talk with uh from japan as well you know because they they're generally they're very responsive they're good with us and whatnot um, I'm happy to work with them, but, and I, and I told them as much, but on the flip side, um, how they label stuff in customs is sometimes what gets it flagged. Now, 
very coincidentally, you know, we're getting these as our next items. I'll pass you this end and we'll display them. Because if you look at these and if you're looking stuff up on Yahoo Japan and you want to find these, the search term that you're going to use is tapestry. Now, when they just put tapestry on the customs clearance, that might not mean like much to you. You're like, oh yeah, arcade tapestry. Or like, you know, the, the, those are the, the flags that they hang outside or whatever. Yeah, that sounds good on paper until you realize that like tapestry in like American American industries and textile and stuff like that means a very different thing. So when that comes up, and again, when it lands on a certain person's desk, they may become a stickler over it for, no, I won't say no reason, but if you, you know what I mean. So that one's for um, Kizuna 2, which is the gun, the new gun and battle pods, the ones that just went uh, EOL, I think, as of, as of like yesterday, I think it was supposed to, but I haven't seen any anything online really much about it. Um, so at any rate, these came up as tapestries and they wanted, I mean, there, so there's the, the regular stuff that, that comes up, which you know, with, with fabrics is, you know, is it knit, woven, um, synthetic or, 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 you know, if you have the tunnel, you know, but, um, they wanted to know like the surface area of these, for example, um, like the actual dimensions. And it's like, if you explain to them, yeah, no, these are the flags that, that hang outside an arcade. They're going to be like, oh yeah, okay. And they'll classify, they aren't going to classify it as like some like art piece or something like that. Because these are just, they're, they're advertisements. They sit outside. They're, they're not the same. So I already have this one, but, um, all three of these came in a lot and I mainly bought it for the Kizuna one because I don't have it. It just so happened to come with a border break. I think that one I might give to, um, local David, because he's got the cab, and now, you know, since I have two, he's the one other person that we know that really enjoys it, um, at least, you know, locally, and then the added benefit on this, and this auction was actually pretty cheap, was, um, whew, and you can, I just remembering also, you can smell the shit out of it, that cigarette smoke. Uh, yeah, this is what I was smelling yep. when I was opening yep. it. These will need some washing. So this oh, was, yeah. and I got one of these in, um, wow, there's two of them? Well, I guess yeah. there's, there's two of them. Well, oh, shit, that wasn't supposed to be two of them. Well, um, <laughs> well no good because, so the, the added benefit was, I you know, I just commented on the last box opening video that this is pretty rare and I'd never seen it before. And then go, go and lo and behold, another one shows up. So this wasn't on the title picture and I, I think it was in the description. But anybody browsing that isn't really familiar or, like, paying attention wouldn't have noticed this, you know, right away. Um, my friend did, um, and he messaged me, fortunately, because, you know, I intended to get the other tapestries. So, since I already have this one and the auction was cheap, um, I'll be giving that to him. He's been in some of the videos before. It's Danny, if you remember. So that one's going to go to Danny. Um, convenient that there's another one because that's also going to go to a friend of mine who, um, has not been in a video yet, but, um, that one's going to, well, I don't know if I want to say in the video, if I want to wait until, oh no, I have to mail him something, yeah, he'll, he'll get it soon. Yeah, so that's going to Okashi Houston, because he saw that and he super wants it too. Now, those were definitely, like, three of the people that I wanted to hit right away, and, um, neat that there's two because now and the, the next box opening video i've already bought it, there's actually a fourth one now and i'm gonna have to think about which crazy initial d fan needs that uh this ended for 380 yen which is like two something it's like 225 two 250 nothing. something yeah two point nothing um it's a promotional t-shirt from shining force cross which nobody gave a shit about, but it's cool. And I might find a way to display this with the cab whenever um, whenever we actually get it running or find a place to put it. But it's just a cool t-shirt that cost literally $2. Plus, you know, whatever, but the two. Plus nothing shipping because it was shipping with a whole bunch of other things. Exactly. Two freaking dollars. Or who knows, maybe I'll wear it. That's all gonna get 
and we had fun with that tonight regardless. <laughs> Probably in the morning actually at this rate. Where's uh, the next box? That's right behind you is Mr. Giant over there. So that is exactly one item, unless they decided to pack in any little extra something or other. Snides up. So I don't know for sure that it's actually this long, but the fact that it's in this box, I would not be surprised. Remember friends, always cut towards your friend, not towards yourself. <laughs> so... There's an obvious place in the game center I would love to put this, but I don't think I have a spot for it yet. Maybe. Whatever, one of these future game, game center videos I might probably show whatever I'm trying to figure out. All right, you ready? Ready to flip it over? Oh, hey, go ahead and open this sucker up. And yes, it really is just that big. We'll want to, I'll we'll definitely want to get this. You know what, I think I'm a, I might keep this box. Yeah, unwrap this. I'll keep the box so that I can put it away for the time being, um, should I not find a place for it, because you know, pretty high, or pretty feeling, a pretty strong feeling that I won't. But um, don't worry about saving this stuff. We got the bigger box for that. So this also sold for quite cheap, which kind of surprised us at okay. first, but being where it's from, and more specifically being not from somewhere more popular, I think that made it worth less to prospective collectors. So I think I might have paid, what, I want to say like 3,000 yen for this. Um, I'm looking at this obviously, probably plus quite a bit of shit. So, this is a train sign for Akihabara. I think. I don't remember what was the Kaving Tohoku line or something. It's not the you know, it's not the Yamanote, it's not the JR lines. And um, if I rem I don't remember if this was this is the one that goes this is the goes in the train. Um and yeah, it's just a lot bigger than I thought it was. You know, you look you see it on the side of a train, maybe it's not not so big, but this thing is huge. Um, well, to be fair, train is pretty big. Yeah, train is pretty <laughs> big, but you know, when you're in a house, train is much bigger. <laughs> like, you know, a train car is three quarters of the length of my house, you know. So anyway, that's super cool. It's obviously going to, you know, it's intended to go by the uh, Densha to go in the game center. But oh, yeah. I'm going to have to find a, a good way to mount it. And uh, I apologize in advance if that's not the line. It's, I don't remember... My memory of lines is not very good right now, so. But it's the Tokyo Metro, if I remember. Tokyo Metro or uh, Tohoku. Like yeah, I think that's it. I don't, there's nothing that pops into my head as being um, forgotten. So. Hopefully that rounds out this video and there's nothing else we need to show. Um, yeah, I think uh, we did a pretty good job getting through these, so. Yep, that'll probably be it for the month. We've got 
And uh, this will this will definitely come after, but we're gonna get into these boxes down here in a sec. And uh, the Exa box opening video that we were doing that we keep alluding to, um, maybe we'll finally open that, you know, finish that up because this is the last of the stuff that we we're planning on doing. Um, we wanted to get that done so we can start choosing our lineup for Level Up. So, uh, yeah, that's it for this one. Stay tuned. We'll be back. I'll try to get the Exa one up before Level Up so you can get a, get a sneak peek at what we're doing. We'll probably finish up that video looking over you know, maybe our, our spreads in each cab a little bit. Um, so we'll see you then. Thanks for watching, and until then, stay safe, and uh, see you in the next video.